today, I just want to talk about this fucking BS. Because I have no way in believing that it's true at all. It's just another pointless sham of the Me Too movement. But anyway, Pyrocynical groomed me and I have screenshots to prove it. I've been sitting and thinking about this shit nonstop, being angry, confused, and sad that I've been, that I had to accept this since I was 15, but never, I never said anything because I felt powerless. What he sent ranged from drawn NSFW to fetishy YouTube videos, and he'd asked me to compile shit for him using tags that he liked on certain websites. At 15, I obviously did it because he's fucking Pyrocynical. I was just happy to be talking to him, and I was trying to continue that. I have Discord screenshots going back four years proving all of this, and I know if I should post them here, I may. Either way, I'm done sitting here being quiet about it when I know mad people went through the same shit, but are extremely traumatized and scared of talking about it. Here's the screenshots, y'all. The last one is sent cement proof. That is him, and I put his Discord ID in the text box below the messages. Again, I'm not inclined to believe you. Not even sure if Eggward YouTube or Eggward YT is inclined to believe you either. And it's just one of those many, many things. Why would you create an already false narrative? I mean, we have to delete users as a screenshot. Not really sure if it's fine with cynical. Maybe you should have uh, actually got a screenshot of Pyro Cynical's actual Discord username instead of delete user. This is all bullshit here. This is all bullshit. I don't know what you're trying to prove, but I have seen nothing of that. It sounds like you're trying to get clout from Pyrocinco by ruining his career. Now, when he does come out, I'm going to have to automatically say this right now. Your story is 100% proven false. By the time he does make the statement, it is automatically, completely, Entirely false. Like, I wouldn't want anybody to keep bringing up this fucking Me Too me narrative just to get clout just like that. I mean, look at how many likes and retreats he got. This is, this is all, all my clout right there. I don't think you should be on the internet.